kind of thing that makes a scientist's monocle pop. The crowd's average guess, 1,197 pounds. The actual weight, 1,198, off by just one pound. One pound. Not only did the crowd beat every single individual guess, they also beat the cattle experts. That day, Galton stumbled onto something counterintuitive. Sometimes the group is smarter than its smartest member. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay, but that's just one fluke with a cow. Nope, this keeps happening. All over the world, in different situations, the same pattern repeats. Why? It comes down to how averages work. Each person brings a mix of knowledge, assumptions, and, let's be honest, random errors. One person might overshoot, another might undershoot. And when you average them all out, the errors cancel each other and the truth floats to the top like cream and fresh milk. Think of it like this. If you and I both throw darts blindfolded, we'll miss. But if we get a hundred people to do it and then find the average position of all the darts, we'll probably hit the bullseye. Let's switch scenes. You've probably seen a big jar of jelly beans at a carnival or fundraiser, right? Guess the number, win the jar. Here's the funny part. One person's guess can be way off, but take 50 guesses, average them, and suddenly you're freakishly close to the real number. In one real experiment, a professor filled a jar with 850 beans. 56 students guessed. The average, 871. Only one student did better than that. In another test, a jar with 4,500